Welcome to Reality Creative Video, Alchemy. Let's talk today about the laboratory, safety again, and plasma arc. Um, and what happens when you mess up? You don't even follow your own rules. So there's some humility here I gotta, I gotta work on. All right, so as you guys know, I have a dead man switch that I put on the uh, on the floor, and then I set up my plasma arc and let it do its thing. And then you know the dead man switch naturally is there in case anything happens. You take your foot off the pedal right away. Well, I got lazy and uh, and complacent, and I was using. A, I wanted to get something to drink, so I set up my top. I was cooking gold, plasma gold, and I took this candle, which is nice and heavy, put it on the dead man switch, walked outside, go get some, get a drink. When it came back in here, my top was on fire. So, um, naturally, I was kind of shocked to see this thing happening, and I put the fire out. It wasn't, it was just a small thing going on here. This is the actual top in question. I'll show you a close-up of it, and you'll see what happened here. And this, uh, you know, is part of the process of perfecting these things to a certain extent. But you also have to be very careful. It should never have walked away from the plasma arc. The dead man switch is there for a reason. And, you know, I skirted my own security. I mean, a very good. I got gloves and glasses. And so, I mean, if you've noticed, uh, you know, that I took the, all my tops down off of the uh, website. The blueprints for them. And I'm redesigning them. Now, the reason being is, you know, ABS plastic, unbeknownst to me, has a flash point of about 350 degrees C. That means it will ignite at that temperature. So, with plasma arc, of course, we're looking at 5,000. The plasma arc itself is 5,000 degrees. So, what exactly happened here? Well, in this design... Uh, I have the glass tubes are just at the bottom of the of the plasma of the of the uh, top. They're not the wire actually passes through the plastic, and I made the assumption that uh, you know the plastic would be a really a uh, good enough insulator of um, of the electricity. But what I didn't take into account was moisture building up on the inside of this thing from sitting on the beaker you know you get moisture in here and the fact that the arc went out when I walked away from it which it does go out and with the moisture and the low resistance to 15,000 volts of the ABS plastic we got an arc that started from here to here this to here and 15,000 volts which then easily ignited the uh, top on fire Luckily, that didn't, it didn't go too far. I was only away for maybe a minute, less than that, probably. But it was scary nonetheless. And so, you know, I did research and found out that these do have a pretty low flash point. So, I am redesigning all my tops, and including the low-voltage DC tops, because there is also, you know, uh, having the wire in contact with the plastic... You, if you have a big power supply, like I have a, a big uh, power supply, it's possible to get a short, and the wires will heat up from that short and could start to burn the plastic top if they got really hot, especially with a wire like gold. It has really high conductivity, and, if, and most of the gold wire that you guys are going to be using is going to be 24-gauge gold wire, be that low-voltage electrolysis or plasma arc, and that... You know, you can only pass a certain amount of current through that before that is going to heat up and get cherry red. So, all of my new tops will have glass tubes through them to prevent this from happening. So, the glass uh, tubes will be, I'll show you, this is just the experimental one right now for the plasma arc. The glass tube actually goes straight through 
top to bottom, the wire never comes in contact with the ABS plastic. This presents some challenges, mostly, you know, how stabilizing the wires for plasma arc, and I have to work on that. I may have to create, uh, I may have to bend this glass, heat the glass, and bend gla the glass into a curve to create more stability there, but I'm still working on that. Um, the low voltage version is fairly simple. All I really did was take some glass tubes and drill, hole, drill out the holes on the top and put just two short glass tubes in there uh, to isolate the wire from the, the ABS plastic. I mean, another, uh, you know, thing is to make the top out of a different kind of material. What that would be, I don't know. I have to investigate it. I, I think whatever, you know, whatever material I make it out of for high voltage plasma, we're still going to come down to the same problem. We really should not have the wire with high voltage plasma come in contact with any of the top plastic tops. Um, I guess the best solution would be no top at all. And I'm looking into maybe creating bending glass tubes and somehow attaching them to the uh, Pyrex glass here. Somehow, I don't know, I'm, I'm, me and my chemist are talking about possible solutions that were for the high voltage AC any that don't involve using any kind of you know flammable product in the process but for now this does work it's just tedious when I have something that's a little bit more uh, less experimental I will repost my tops on the uh, in the website for you guys that are, are using them so, if you're using the plasma arc tops, uh, don't use them anymore. The low voltage DC tops, I recommend you don't use them either uh, without putting glass tubes in them. But, you know, there's less, less of a risk there as there is with the plasma arc. So, what do we learn from it? Um, what did I learn from it? You have to be very, very careful. No more walking away from the dead man switch. It's there for a reason. Had I been standing here, I would have seen the stuff starting to burn, or I would have turned it off when the arc stopped instead of and not given it a chance to start burning through the top. Uh, and then I would have fixed that problem at that point. So that's something I have to, have to, have to make sure that I do as well. So Also, I want to mention I have a fire extinguisher right here in the lab. Very important. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher hand, handy. The other thing that I'm um, adding is a wet cloth to my plasma arc thing. I'm going to wet a cloth here so that I, if something did happen, I could toss this wet cloth over onto something. Like I, if I had the wet cloth, I could have tossed it over on the top like here and douse the flames. It would have been safer, you know. And then if that didn't work, naturally you grabbed the fire extinguisher. But it does show that you do have to be careful with all of this stuff. Low voltage electrolysis, high voltage AC. Uh, whenever you're making materials in the lab, you got you got to be careful. I mean, this is a heated stirrer, and this plate can get quite hot. You know, uh, almost 100, you know, bur it'll melt. It could melt and crack beakers. So you, there's a lot of things that could happen in the lab, and you do have to be careful, and you got to be watchful eye. And not take shortcuts. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, that's my that's my lesson, or I'm passing on to all of you today. Uh, just be careful, watch what you're doing, and do not, you know, shortcut your uh, your safety procedures. I'm Hermes. This is Reality Creative Video, and I will talk to you again soon.